My name is Jared Potts, and I'm the president and CEO of Inflatable Boat Specialists. This morning, I'm going to be speaking to you about the Yachtline Deluxe Series, which is Zodiac's flagship deluxe tender within its model range. Here to my left is the Yachtline 340 Deluxe. This boat measures 11 feet 2 inches length overall. This series goes on up to the 470, which measures 15 feet 5 inches. Therefore, typically speaking, there's a perfect size for everyone from that 11 feet up to 15 and a half foot range. You have the 340, which is 11.2. Here to my right, which we'll focus in on in a few minutes, is the 380 Deluxe, which is 12 and a half feet. And the next boat over is the Yachtline 420 Deluxe, which again, we'll zoom in on and give you a, a nice visual of that boat. And that boat measures 13 feet, nine inches. And then of course we get to the, to the big boy, which is the 470, which is 15 and a half feet. The Zodiac Yachtline Deluxe Series is married up and teamed up with Yamaha OEM Motors. Here, you're gonna see that the Yamaha 40 horsepower four stroke is the typical standard package that gets rigged on the back of the 340 Deluxe. First and foremost, Zodiac Boats, one of the, the main components that differentiates them from the majority of the competition out there is the built-in trim tabs. Zodiac is one of the fastest planing deluxe ribs out on the marketplace, if not the fastest. The reason for this is the built-in trim tabs that we're zooming in here. You're gonna see my hand, what I'm grabbing. These are the wing-like looking things, which are the trim tabs we're talking about. The motor's inlaid into the transom, again, thus giving the boat added performance and having it pop up on step, which adds to the acceleration, the performance, turning, comfort, all of the above when you're out riding around in the open ocean. Again, making this one of the best deluxe tenders out on the market today. Okay, as we move more midship on this vessel, you're gonna notice that what we're zooming in here is on the console, the gauges, and all the instrumentation that you see typically on a deluxe rib. So I'm gonna start out first, I'm gonna highlight on the digital gauges. And what you're gonna see here is Yamaha's Command Link digital gauges. This is a premium upgrade that comes standard on every Zodiac Yachtline Deluxe Series boat. A couple of the things and features that you're gonna get with these gauges, you're gonna get your typical warning lights, which is your temperature overheat sensor, you're gonna get your oil, you're gonna have your trim, you're gonna have a fuel gauge, a tachometer, a speedometer. But one of the other things that you might not be aware of is you're also gonna have the flow. When I refer to flow, what I'm talking about is your miles per gallons and gallons per hour. What the actual engine is burning when you're running. Gas mileage, so to speak. These boats, again, as aforementioned, are paired with the four-stroke Yamaha motors. These motors are extremely quiet, extremely reliable, but they're very fuel efficient. So every time you get in the boat and you fire it up and you start running, you're going to be able to look at the gauge and see exactly what you're getting in terms of your fuel efficiency. Moving down just below the gauges over here, I'm leaning over the boat, um, but what you can see there are your instrumentation panel, your rocker switches. The boat comes standard with navigation lights. Navigation lights is going to be your standard red and green in the bow. You're going to have your stern light, which is a pole light that plugs in in the back. I'm going to open this up just so you can see. Underneath here is where this pole light gets attached. So it's out of the way. It's stored nice and easy, very convenient. And when all of a sudden the, the sun starts to go down, you need the lights, you can easily grab it, pop it in, and now you have navigation lights. Just below that is another light switch. These boats come standard with courtesy lighting. When I refer to courtesy lighting, that is different than navigation lighting. Navigation is when you're running at night. Courtesy lighting is what gives you light inside the boat, in the actual interior of the boat. You drop your keys, your wallet, your cell phone on the floor, you can't really see what's going on at night. You hit that switch, the courtesy lights come on, you can see everything that's on the deck of the boat, which makes it not only safer, uh, but also much more convenient and just much more pleasurable when you're running the boat at night. Down below that switch next uh, is your bilge pump switch. These boats all come standard with a bilge pump, which is very nice for a, for a multitude of reasons. Um, first and foremost, if you're out running the ocean, you get a little bit of water in the boat, it has an auto switch. So once the, the water hits a certain level in the bilge area, the water is going to automatically pump out. However, I do know, we know that this boat caters majority of the times to people with yachts, with primary boats, and this becomes a tender that gets put up on the foredeck, on your swim step, off of a davit, whatever the case may be or what your setup is on your primary boat. Having a bilge pump is nice, especially when it's wired into an auto function. What that means is when you're away from your boat and you get rain or we get a storm or what have you, as a little bit of rainwater collects, again, same principle, once it hits a certain level, that bilge pump's automatically gonna kick on and pump the water out. 
You're also going to notice that Zodiac gives you a very sporty, comfortable steering wheel. There's many boats out in the marketplace today, many inflatables. Um, they come with a rather um, low grade, low quality steering wheel. This Zodiac wheel right here um, is a very high end. It's got a nice grip, which makes it very easy to pilot, um, to turn. It's just a comfortable um, type of boat to navigate. And again, a lot of that goes to the nice steering wheel. They definitely don't lack in terms of high quality goods that they put on the boat. Another important component when choosing the right tender is the davit system. Davit systems are extremely important and vital to the capability to lift this tender and put it up on the foredeck, on your swim step, or wherever this boat is going to be located on your primary yacht. One of the things that I really like about the Zodiac Yachtline Deluxe tenders is their low center of gravity pick point. As you can see here, we have a lifting sling that's, that's built and designed for this boat. And you can see that the lift point is almost even with the top of the steering wheel. This is extremely rare and abnormal and one of the key features of the Zodiac Yachtline Deluxe series, making this boat extremely easy to get on and off of a davit system, thus adding another benefit if thinking about purchasing such a tender. One of the things that is very striking on the Yachtline Deluxe models is the ample amount of storage space that is on a small deluxe rib. As you can see here, we're zooming in underneath the driver's seat. This seat opens and basically opens up to a nice storage department that's dry storage, has quite a bit of room and goes a ways into the back. I'm gonna dive in here a little bit. Uh, bear with me, I'm gonna move this upholstery. And there's a nice storage locker that's built in in front of the console. One of the key features that I like about this storage locker, and you can't see it from the camera, but down below there's a drain built in. So this acts not only as a storage compartment, but it doubles as a cooler. You can put sandwiches, sodas, anything that you want to bring into the boat. You put ice over top. As the ice melts, it goes down into the lower drain, which is the bilge area. You flip the bilge switch and it automatically pumps the water out, um, which is a really nice feature. And typically speaking, when you're boating with the family, I know myself, we always want to have drinks and food on board. It's always a challenge to keep that stuff nice and cold. Having a um, not only a storage compartment, but a storage compartment that doubles as a cooler as well is definitely a nice amenity that's added into the boat. Moving here to the left of the console, um, underneath here, this is your gas fill. So in the Outline Deluxe series, they have built-in fuel tanks that are internal. We don't have any of the, the, the ugly or not pretty looking orange tanks that are visible um, and on board for everyone to see. So on these Deluxe series boats, the gas tanks, the fuel tanks are actually built in. Okay, we're gonna move over to the next boat in the series, which is the Yachtline 420 Deluxe. This boat measures 13 feet, nine inches length overall. It's the second to largest model within the series. One of the things you're gonna notice first from the camber angle that we have here is the teak decking that we've added on the floor. That's an option that we do offer. Many of these boats um, have the capability to be built up, so to speak, with upgrades and options. And that's something that at a later date, once you find the right model that suits you best, you can contact us and we'd be more than happy to discuss some of these upgrades and options to uh, bring some of the uh, a few extra niceties that we can put into these boats. Diving in a little deeper, um, going back to the gray and white tubes here, I spoke about how these are the premium upgraded fabric. This is the CSM Hypalon tubes. But one of the things we've yet to touch on is these boats come with a patented removable tube system. All of your other tenders and ribs in the marketplace have glued on permanent tubes. One of the biggest follies with that is 10, 15 years down the line as the tubes get tired, it's very costly and labor intensive to retube an inflatable. On the Zodiac series, they take all of the hassle and those added costs immediately eliminate them, making it very easy to do a, a retube or a tube switch on such a model. When I'm referring to a tube switch, what I mean is these tubes that are on the boat right now are actually built in onto a track system. They completely slide off, we get a new tube set, and we can slide them on with minimal effort and minimal labor hours, again, making it very, very cost effective 15 years down the line to retube such a boat. That's another feature that drives a lot of clientele to this model. In closing, I'd like to thank you for your time today, listening to me discuss some of the features and the benefits of the Yachtline Deluxe series boat built and patented by Zodiac. 
In the back, in the tan color tubes, you're going to see the Yachtline 340 Deluxe, which is 11 feet 2 inches. That comes standard with the Yamaha 40 horsepower. Here to my left is the Yachtline 380 Deluxe, which is 12 and a half feet, showing the gray and white tubes with the 50 horsepower Yamaha. And last but not least, what we touched on was the Yachtline 420 Deluxe, which measures 13 feet 9 inches. I think hands down what we've learned is that the Zodiac Yachtline Deluxe is one of the best performance, highest quality, and just overall incredible deluxe tender in the marketplace today. If you'd like more information in regards to the Zodiac Yachtline Deluxe Tenders, feel free to jump on our website, which is www.inflatableboats.net, or phone us at 805-644-6290, extension 101. We are an extremely low pressure sales force, so if you just want to phone in and you have some questions, but you don't want to feel pressured into a purchase, no problem at all. Give us a call, send us an email, and we'd be more than happy to take the time to sit down and delve into some of these boats a little bit further. Thank you again for your time, and we look forward to working with you in regards to any future boating purchases. Thank you.